This is just going to be a random video talking about random subjects. I think something that we need to be very concerned about is the fact that we have a fiat currency. Its value is based off of debt, as if debt equals value. But the way that banking works, it is. And if you don't know what I mean, many people already do, but I'll try to explain it in a very basic way. A bank can get, let's just throw out a number, a bank can have a thousand dollars, but they'll lend out, they'll give loans for uh, nine thousand dollars as if they actually have that much when they don't. And if they were expected to if everyone wanted their money right then, they wouldn't be able to pay it back. Okay, that sort of philosophy is what our money is based on. Uh, the Federal Reserve was a really shitty idea. And, uh, because there's nothing federal about it. <laughs> it's really independent of the government. It is I mean, we are basically run by corporations and banks. They have a lot more control than we would like to believe. You know, presidents don't really have as much power as we think they do. They have a lot of power, don't get me wrong. But to make some of the really big changes, they don't have that much power. Um, it's really doubtful that Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren will really, really have a chance. Uh, the only way that either Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warner, Warren, Warner, Warren, uh, would have a chance is if they ran with Hillary. But, you know, I'm still going to be voting for Bernie Sanders and if Elizabeth uh, Warren, Warren, Warner, Warren, holy shit, I just can't remember basic names, that's all right. Um, you know, I'll still be voting for them uh, if they happen to be still running by that time. Um, but, uh, God, I went off track a little here. Um, But, you know, there are some scary things at play, like the, how, you know, we want oil to be sold based off of the dollar. And we've made a really big deal out of every time there's a chance that different countries may start basing the sales of oil off of something else. Our country gets scared and, uh, you know, because anything that shows what our money actually is worth, which is nothing, uh, is going to be scary. Um, and with good reason. I'm just making sure this is still 60 frames a second, yes. Um, so I, I think that should be a bit of a concern for people. Another one is how, you know, how many military bases we have around the planet. How we, you know, as time goes on, we continue to take money out of education, out of things that will actually help this country in the long run, and put more of it into the military. We don't seem very concerned with that. Um, I think that's a little scary we put more into sports than we do, let's say in schools, than we do 
important subjects. You know, we will drop, gleefully drop music and arts before we even take a cent out of sports, as if sports are really that important. Um, now, there's people that will take uh, uh, pride in their area they live based off of sports. I understand those elements of it, but um, you, you can't hum a ball game. You can't, you know, you, you don't sit there and, uh, uh, unless you're just a total fanatic about it, you, you're not about to, uh, you need some way to relax or something like that. Oh, let's put on the, the sports game from 1987. Uh, you just don't find that. <laughs> not very often, anyway. Um, so... And the arts enrich our lives, but we just sort of let it go by the wayside and continue to... Oh, sports, okay, whatever. Sports and military, sports and military. Um, it's just kind of weird. And they're not... I'm not trying to claim they're directly... Sports and military are directly related or anything like that. You know, I'm just, I'm just sort of... Uh, stream of consciousness right now is what I'm doing, so... Um, in the discussion I had way earlier today with my friend uh, who goes by uh, Sleazy Vegetable Joe, S.V. Joe, um, in person, I've, I've known him for years, We've been he's, he was a bass player in, in uh, several bands that I'd been in, most recently it was the Mercury Rising, and uh, We were discussing uh, police brutality, and uh, one of the points that he made, and I, I just fully agreed with it, I thought it was such a good, it, it was just right on, is how, you know, cameras, more cameras everywhere, could feasibly replace a lot of the police, a lot of the, necess the necessity of the police. I mean, when investigators are a lot more important to this type of thing than, than actual police. And if, if the, the deal is to make money for the city, the county, the state, or even federal when it comes to traffic violations and such, uh, why not just have it on camera? And, you know, the, the kind of computing power that it needs to be able to recognize a lot of things that these cameras see, I mean, it doesn't take... I mean, this, this could power that sort of thing. Hell, computers from, from 10 years ago could power that sort of thing. And especially if they, they have them networked together so they can see how something goes from one place to the next to the next, you know. Now, I'm not saying that I think uh, camera lights, you know, st traffic lights are cool. I, I don't like them. But I prefer them over police brutality. <laughs> you know. But yeah, police are, are usually there after some sort of, if, if, you know, when it comes to protecting the citizens, they're usually there after something has happened. They're not able to be there before something has happened, at least not usually. And the ones that are, they're, they're in a position of security, you know? But then you have private security guards, which I'm not saying should replace... I don't think it should be all privatized or anything, I'm just saying. Um, so... It's just a weird thing. So many things that people sit there and find so important, and we neglect so many things that actually are important. Um, I really do wonder where we're going to be at in 10 years. What is our youth going to be like? What is our economy going to be like? 
what is our culture going to be like? And it's interesting to hypothesize what those things might be. Anyway.